you know, before I get into the, the meat of this video, there's a few things that I need to see up front that will of course serve as the intro to this masterpiece. And of course you have seen the title. Now I'm gonna take the time to let y'all know was coming down the pipe for y'all's holiday. I believe the holiday is on Monday. And y'all know how I do it. Every holiday I produce one of my masterful productions. And this week I stumbled across an article about one Kerry Washington. And in this article, Kerry Washington admitted that if Shonda Shine, I mean, excuse me, if Shonda Rhimes would have casted a black male to play the role of the president, which was her love interest, Fritz. Kerry Washington admitted in this article that if Shonda Shine cast a black man in that role, she would have left scandal. And when I read this, I thought to myself, wow, I mean, you know, hell, shit, those of us who've been down that rabbit hole, we're saying, look, tell us something we don't know. But then as I continue to read the article, and she gave her rationale she 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 qualified why she said if Fritz or the president in scandal would have been a black male she would have left the show she would have left the series and then she class she clarified why she said that later on in the article and what she said is what we're gonna have to take down in the hole <laughs> I, I mean, I just, I can't believe this. I mean, it's it's like, again, it's like Christmas in September. I mean, you going to give me this? So what I'm going to do for this weekend's Rabbit Hole production, I'm going to share that article with y'all. I'm going to let y'all read it for yourself so y'all can't say I'm taking a word out of, a words out of context. She didn't really say that. I'm going to let y'all read the article for yourself. And then I'm going to give you my commentary on her justification as to why she said if the president was a black male, she would have left the entire series. Y'all know what it is. Second inch, you're like breathing. If you want this weekend's rabbit hole, send me an email. I'll get you the link. And again, you, you've seen the title of this video. And I'm sitting back, and, and actually I'm late to the game because I, I, the footage in question of this white female feeding this Negro watermelon only after feeding her dog. I first seen that video on Tariq Nasheed's timeline. And when I seen that video footage, because if, if, if you went down in the hole, y'all know that the footage that I got from the Kim Klasik, Klasik, who's running for Congress in Baltimore, when Tariq Nasheed interviewed her, I took that footage from his timeline. And while I was taking that footage to produce that video, which was last week or a couple of weeks ago, I seen this footage that he posted of this white female feeding her dog and then feeding a nigger watermelon. And I snatched that footage as well because I had every intention on doing a video on it. I just didn't get around to it because I had other things on the docket. But then in the process of me deciding I'm going to actually go on and do this, produce this video on this, because there's a lot in that. One Cynthia, Cynthia G 
had produced a video. And she was talking about the same Negro. And of course, we know the, the angle that she took. But we won't deal with that later on in the video. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me say this first as pertaining to what I've told y'all in many of my videos. And again, y'all know me. I, I believe repetition is the, is the mother of skill. I have absolutely no problem repeating myself. I'm going to say it over and over and over again until y'all get it. And I've told y'all in many, many of these classic videos how much y'all love white people. And, 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 and you, you, if you're going to find out who loves Whitey more between this black male and this black female, you're going to have to conduct a 40-yard dash. Y'all have heard me say that over and over and over again. And the reason why that is is because just as much as that black, that white, that white, that black female worships that white man, you Negroes worship this white woman. Y'all love them. I mean, this, 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 these are just the facts, man. And I know, I know, I know y'all don't like to hear this. I know this bothers y'all. But the evidence is clear. The evidence is clear just how much you Negroes really love white people. And I'm going to give you two classic examples. And I, I know y'all not going to like this, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And the first example that, sh that, that I'm going to use to prove, as if I really need to prove it. I mean, that's, that's, that's the whole point here. I mean, I'm actually piling on because I've, I believe I have proven this point abundantly clear in many videos. But, you know, again, y'all have no problem coming back and doing it again. So let, let me give you an example or a couple examples that prove, again, just how much y'all love white folks. And the first is going to deal with what we have going on now in society with all these protests and Black Lives Matter. And what lets me know just how much y'all love white people is that y'all are willing to go to bat if anything is said or done that you may think may offend white people. What am I saying? When you hear a Negro, and don't worry, we're going to get to the watermelon video in a minute. Just, just stick with me. When you have a Negro, a colored, and he has a problem with the term Black Lives Matter. And we've seen, we've seen, um, you know, people who castigate the organization we see people who, who, you know, want to put the organization down. We see people who, who talk about it. You know, you had a black, a Negro female running around, I believe it was in New York, putting black paint all over the murals. We've we seen all of this. And so I, I, when I talk to Negroes about Black Lives Matter, I, I have to explain to them because I know a lot of y'all are just not that bright. I know a lot of y'all just aren't that smart. And, and when I talk to particularly black men, and you see all these black men who hug the, hug the nuts of Donald Trump on social media. I've been telling y'all this for ever since Donald Trump was elected, man. I've been telling y'all, y'all look weak, y'all look soft. A lot of y'all look effeminate. These are just the facts. Y'all look like a Negro who, when he goes into the public restroom, Y'all fighting amongst yourselves to see whose turn it is to hold his penis while he takes a leak. You held it the last time. It's my turn. You held it yesterday. I'm going to hold it. That, that's what y'all look like. Or when he gets up off the toilet, y'all run and grab toilet paper, wrap it around y'all's hand to bend him over and wipe his butt. That's the way y'all look. I I've been telling y'all this. You can like the guy. You can like his policies. We can we can debate public policy all day, every day. But this overt cheerleading from these particularly black men is sickening to watch. So now when you have a Negro who castigates Black Lives Matter. 
And the, the shine, he, he can't make the distinction. And this, this is what I try to explain to black men. Listen, dude, there is a difference in theory and practice. There, there, there's a difference. There's a difference in theory and practice. And as a black man, now I know a lot of y'all, particularly these Negroes who like Donald Trump, maybe they don't consider themselves black. But I hate to tell y'all this. Not only does America see you as black, you are black. So as a black man, in theory, you can't disagree with Black Lives Matter because it's simply just saying your life matters, period. Now, if you want to deal with practice, hey, we can, go, we can debate that all day. The Antifa in, 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 infiltrated the organization. George Soros has uh, bankrolled it from its conception. You know how they only protest over, you know, when a white cop shoots a black person. They, they don't protest when it's black on black. I've been saying that for years. I've done videos asking the question, when does a black life have a value? And it's when it's taken by a white cop or a white person. We've been saying this for years. So now if you have a problem with Black Lives Matter in practice, that's fair game. I would tend to agree with you. How heavily they are immersed in the gay agenda, which could be understood when you consider all three of the founding members of the organization were gay women. But yet and still, we can debate the practice. That's fair game. But theory as a black man, and you have a problem with an organization that says your life matter, and then you will come back and say, well, all lives matter. That's not the subject. That's not the subject. You would never find if, if this organization was white lives matter, if they created that organization first. You are not going to find, unless it's one of these hypocritical ass liberals like the one who fed that nigga with a watermelon, because that's what that was. That, that's that white liberal. That's that paternalistic, ultra racist white liberal who pretends to be your friend, but she will feed you watermelon only after feeding her dog. But I'm going to deal with that later. But if you had an organization that says white lives matter, you're not going to find a white person disagreeing with that and then saying, well, black lives matter too. No, because that's not the issue. If they're white and they say white lives matter, yes, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. But it's only the Negro because y'all love them. And I'm actually behind on my memes. But y'all love them. And, and, and y'all love them so much that y'all don't want to offend them. And so at the risk of offending white people who y'all love. As a black man who the organization is just saying your life matters. As a black man, your life has a value. Yes, they're right. I agree with that. But now how they carry out that, I, we, can we can discuss that. There's a difference between practice and theory. As a black person, in theory, how do you disagree with that? In theory, in practice, fair game. But this is how much y'all, y'all love white people, man. Y'all do not want to offend white people. And y'all look, particularly you black men, man, y'all look so weak. Y'all look so soft. Y'all look so effeminate. Like that Negro in that video. When I first seen that video on Tariq Nasheed's timeline, I looked at that shit and I'm thinking to myself, man, I would smack that. It reminds me what Sergeant Waters, here you go. Sergeant Waters, what did he say about CJ? What did he ask Wookie? Do you know the damage one ignorant nigga can do? You know the damage. And you got this Negro sitting in a video smiling, skinning and grinning because he's with his white woman. He's so happy. And the white woman is, they're not, they're not going to stand it that we're eating wings or 
or steak or, or cereal or eating toast, a bagel. Okay, that's fine. No, she's feeding this Negro watermelon. And somehow the Negro, he, 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 he can't make that connection. Like, wait a minute. I'm not going to sit in no video with you and have you feed me watermelon. Because of the historical significance of that. No, no, if we, if we eat something else, hey, that's fine. And you most certainly are not going to feed me after you've been touching these dogs. Go put, you want to talk about hand sanitizer? You want to talk about wash, wash your goddamn hands while we sitting there eating with these dogs all on the table. Get these damn dogs off the table and put them in the kennel. You sitting at the table, the dogs flopping all around while you sitting there eating. The, the, the Negro, I'm telling y'all, y'all are crazy. And this Negro loves this white liberal so much because that's what that woman is. I guarantee you, if I could talk to that white female, I guarantee you she is one of these paternalistic white liberals because that's the white liberal. The white liberal is the ultra racist towards you Negroes. They're very paternalistic towards you Negroes. They think you Negroes are dumb. Eh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're not too far off base, but that's a subject for another video. But Malcolm tried to warn us about this white liberal, how he plays like he's your friend. And she will sit and say, I ain't done nothing wrong. I'm just, I'm just eating water. I like water. I'm just proving to you that that, that that stereotype about black people like watermelon. Oh, that's just a stereotype because, listen, I'm a white woman and I'm eating watermelon. too. ain't nothing wrong with it. Let me feed my dog this watermelon and then let me feed my other dog the Negro. I mean, Negro, you, 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 you see where you are in the pecking order. And this dumb nigga sits there and, and allows this video to be recorded. And then y'all wonder why I sit back and say, y'all not giving me a lot to work with, man. Because when a Cynthia G and her ilk get a hold of that video, I mean, what, what, what can we say? What, I mean, what can we say, man? I mean, what, what, what defense can we have? Well, how do you defend this Negro? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean it, it, it's like a defensive coordinator. And he's sitting back and, he, and he's looking. And, and since this is football about to start, I'm going to use my, you know, six times Super Bowl champs, the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's like a defensive coordinator trying to figure out how do we stop the great Ben Roethlisberger first ballot Hall of Famer two times Super Bowl champ I mean how do how do we stop this dude he you know I mean, do we blitz him do we want do we, do we want to run a zone on the guy how do we stop him it's like you sit back and you're trying to figure out what well, god damn it man you're in a video and you're allowing this white woman to feed you watermelon, and you got your Cynthia G's and her ilk, they, they riding that shine, man. Which is what I've been telling y'all, man. They go use your dysfunction against you, Negro. They're going to use your dysfunction against you. And when there is no dysfunction, guess what? They will manufacture it. But in this case, in this case, this is not manufactured dysfunction. And so I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, God damn it, man, how do I defend this shine? Who has obviously shown us that he loves white people so much that he is allowing her to, and the Negro eats off the same spoon. Man, you know, shit. And then you got this other nigga. I mean, y'all seen the footage. I, you know, again, Cynthia G done a video on this. And then, and then uh, Brandon Tatum, another shine, he, 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 he tweeted it. And because I follow him on Twitter, 
I seen the photo. Y'all seen it? The 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 black the ball headed Negro. He's wearing his Timberlands and got on the White Lives Matter shirt. Got the little white woman with next to him. She got on Black Lives Matter, and they got a little boy there that has All Lives Matter shirt. And I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, here we go again. I'm that defensive coordinator. How do I defend this? How do I defend this? I mean, God damn it. You, you, you sit back, and you, you try to go to bat for black men. Like when these heifers come out, and they talk about, you know, you, you hear this from the, these are the talking points from these swirlers. You know, the earning potential of black men. And they talk about the earning potential of black men. And, and by the way, no, I'm not baking cookies. But <laughs> they talk about the earning potential of black men and what he's earning. And you'll notice that whenever they talk about this stuff, they never include the overt inequality that exists in American society. I mean, we can't get around this. Now, I'm one who believes you shouldn't allow it to stop you from doing what you have to do. This is the reason why I push entrepreneurship. If you don't want to play those office politics and all of that bullshit, you're going to have to become an entrepreneur. This, this, that's why I, I wholeheartedly believe in that. But yet and still, because of the inequality that exists in American society, you're going to have these disparities in when it comes down to income and earning. Why? Because this, no corporation is going to hire no six, nine, bald headed, muscle bound Negro to work in their office. And it's quite as it kept if, 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 the, if the level, if the playing field was level and we're living in a utopia, there is no inequality. A lot of you black women wouldn't be in corporate America either. Why? Because the only reason why y'all there is because y'all fill quotas. The government said you have to hire a female, you have to hire a minority. Well, guess what? This black woman checks both of those boxes. So, I mean, we, we of course, she's going to get the opportunity. This is, this is the society that we live in. We can't get around that. But for some odd reason, when these helpers talk about the earning potentials, they never include the inequality it's as, as if it doesn't exist. And in their mind, it doesn't because, you know, they, they, they will deny it because, you know, they got to get that white daddy. So when we look at how they treat black men and talk about black men, we can go to bat for them. I go to bat for them. But then when y'all when y'all produce shit like these two videos, this nigga standing here with a all white lives matter. See that that's not the subject, Negro. Why do you why is it that you as a black man, a bald headed black man, and you gonna be the first one that they're gonna look at? Why do you have a problem with Black Lives Matter? In theory. In theory. If you want to say, well, I don't like the Antifa piece, I don't like the pride, the writing piece, I don't like George Soros bankrolling it, okay, all of that is practice. We can debate all of that. But god damn it, in theory, you can't disagree with it, man. Not as a black man. So you're going to say when somebody tells you that your life matters, you're going to immediately say, well, white lives matter too. Well, god damn it, man. We ain't talking about white folk. We're talking about your black ass. But yet it's still because of the love for white tea. This nigga is willing to take a picture with... <laughs> oh, y'all make it tough, man. Y'all make it tough. You're willing to take a picture. I won't even call that white woman in that in that photo subpar. I mean, dude, I understand love is blind, goddammit, but man, come on, man. In that case, I don't want to see, dude. I mean, you're standing in a... God damn it, man, y'all make this shit hard. You're standing in a picture with a hideous-looking Becky. And listen, you 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 not even with her son. That ain't your son, cause that ain't no Nick Mix boy that she's with. That 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 dude, that little boy has a white father. But now, when it comes down to this heifer, the, the black woman, you say I ain't dealing with no woman with no kids. I ain't playing no no 
clean up batter. Fuck that. I ain't doing that. But now you will to do for her. And then when you look at the white chick, she's not, yeah, she's not even a five. Hey, she's not, I, you, man, dude, this, this woman is not even on the radar. But there you stand. So then when a Cynthia G comes along with her series, this is who they choose. And she's chronicling videos of the hideous white women that these dudes are with. How do I defend that with you standing there with that? You're not giving me a lot to work with, man. I mean, if hell, me shit. If, if you go get that, you might as well get your sister. At least you could have got some hips and an ass out the deal. But well, let me take a little. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Scratch that. <laughs> ah, y'all got me thinking out of the whole brother. That that scratch that from the record. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me take a sip of this. <laughs> okay, we gonna we gonna scratch that from the record, people. But y'all make this stuff hard, man. And when that paternalistic white liberal was feeding that Negro that watermelon only after feeding her dog, I looked at this shit. I'm like, man, these, these niggas really love this white woman. They really love her, man. And, 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 and the love that y'all have for this white woman is equal to the love that 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 black woman has for this white man. I'm telling y'all something, man. Y'all better hope and pray. A lot of y'all, if y'all, if that's what y'all, y'all better get on y'all's knees and y'all need to start praying. Lord, please, don't let it be no race war. Because I'm telling you right now, <laughs> y'all done. I mean, you know, I'm going to leave that right there, but y'all done. Y'all you know I mean, listen, man. It, 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 <laughs> let, let me leave that on. Let me leave that on. I, 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 I don't even want to go there. Let, 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 y'all just hold up and pray that that number jumps off. Because I think a lot of y'all, if it were to happen, I think a lot of y'all would be fighting on their side. I mean, that's just what I believe. I really do. Because y'all love them, man. Y'all love them. Y'all hate me. Y'all hate me. But y'all love them. And this is what I tell white folks, that you ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah, you're going to have the one criminal. You're going to have people who are going to do bad things. But but, for the most part, you don't. Black people love white people. Black people love white people. And that's from top to bottom. They really do. They really do. And if, 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 if black folks were to forgive one another the way they forgive white people, oh, man. Shit. Wow. Just imagine it. Let that sink in a minute. If, if, if black people actually treated one another the way they treat whitey, man, you talking about a utopia? You talking about, man, shit. If black folks actually loved one another the way they love white tea. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Because y'all love it, y'all really do. Y'all really do. And let, let me let me let me stop because you know <laughs> I didn't really want this video to be that long. I just want to let y'all know what was coming down the pipe after I read that article on on Kerry White. And it was interesting that I actually found that article. If you've seen last week's Rabbit Hole production, I actually dealt with her. But and when I read the article, and I'm sitting there, because the, the caption of the article is Kerry Washington admits that if Fritz was played by a black dude, she would have left the series. I'm like, well, damn. And I'm reading the article, and she gives her justification at the end of the article. I'm like, well, shit. If, if you actually believe that Kerry Washington... If you once I tell you what her rationale was, if you actually believe that bullshit, I have a bridge in Brooklyn that I'm willing to sell you. I have a statue up there too. I'm willing. I let you get it for nothing, little or nothing. 
If you, when you listen to what her rationale was, if you actually believe that bullshit. And the thing that's so interesting about Carrie Washington is that she's married to a black dude. While she admits her love for this white dude. Now, listen, if you listen to the brother, if you just own for the, you know, if you just trying to get the come up and you, hey, you know, where those dollars at? Hey, whatever, man, do you. I ain't mad at you. Do you. But if you going to play that, I love her. This is my boo and my love. And my, I just love my woman and all this other crap, man. If you can't see this being played out in front of you, a fool. Not only, you know, fool, you a goddamn fool. And this woman said if they put a black man in that role of Fritz and had me having him bend me over in a broom closet or pulling down my panties in the basement and all and you had a black guy doing it to me, I would have left the series. Ain't no nigga going to be pulling down my when I'm all dolled up and looking sophisticated and feminine. Ain't no nigga going to be taking me in no broom closet and bending me over a mop bucket and pulling down my panties. Only person that can do that is White Zaddy. He the only one that's allowed to do that kind of shit. But let me stop. <laughs> you want the video, send me an email, I'll send you the link. Because at the end of the day, 